a little bit about doing the work. And I touched on this earlier, but I, I have a surefire way of guaranteeing how you can avoid failure. And I know that's exactly why everybody has come here today. That oh, brilliant, we're going to learn how to deal with and maybe avoid failure, so we never have to fail again. Okay, and it really, really is very, very simple. And I'm, I'm amazed that I didn't think of it before. But the solution comes in three parts. Okay, you ready to write this down? Do nothing. Say nothing. Be nothing. And if you do those three things, you will, I guarantee, avoid failure. And very little in sport, life, business is easy. Okay? Not if you want to achieve some level of success. Not if you want to be something, do something, stand for something, say something. And the way to achieve it is to find your focus, have tunnel vision, and do the work. Do the work that nobody sees. Do the practice when nobody is watching, because that's where you make the improvements. Be brave to test, even when you don't want to test. And often you'll have setbacks, and sometimes you'll have a lot of setbacks, and it'll feel like you're having setback after setback. But as we've talked about today, compared to what? Okay? And those setbacks might knock you down, derail you, often feel like they break you. Tomorrow is the 18th anniversary of my sister's death at 27 years old. Um, in South Africa, for those of you who don't know, in a car accident, her and her best friend on the way home to Joburg Airport. And I'll be, I'll be totally honest, I'll tell you now, it broke me. It took me 10 years to realize, but it broke me. And it left me a resentful, angry, heartbroken wreck. Uh, I could feel the hole here where my heart used to be. But I got up because that wall taught me to get up and do the work. And there's a part of me that refused to die alongside her. And I'll, you know, I've spoken to people in this room, you know, I refused to give up but I wanted to die alongside her. I wanted to be where she was. Because my sister had greatness, and I wanted to be a part of that greatness. When I lost my business in 2013, as Josie talked about, I wanted to give up. But I got up and I kept doing the work. How? because I believe in myself. Not every day, but I believe in myself more days than I don't. And that's what matters. And I look around this room, and I know some of you really very, very well, and I look at you and I see greatness. And what is greatness? greatest greatness is the legacy you leave behind. Not the money, because I tell you this right now, at my sister's funeral, nobody checked her bank balance. Nobody checked to see how much she was earning. What she left behind was love, impact, because she changed everything she touched for the better. And it's what people say, how they feel about you, how you affected them that you'll be remembered for, not how big your house was not how many pairs of shoes you've got, not how fast your car is. I look around this room and I see greatness. And if you can believe that you can be great, then you will be great. If you believe you'll be all right, you'll be all right. And if you believe you're going to fail, you'll fail. Choose to be great. Choose to get up and do the work. Choose to leave an impact, despite the fear, despite the setbacks. 
Choose success. Choose to believe in yourself. I know a lot of you really well, and I see greatness in this room, and I promise you this. I believe in every single one of you. And if I can believe in every single one of you, then choose to believe in yourself.